Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my dear students in the grade 7 curriculum, grade 7 Alcala, grade 7 Arizona, grade 7 Nebres, SPJ Haina, and SSC Darwin. Last week, we discussed about passive and active voice. Today is our fourth week lesson in English 7. Before we begin, you may sit comfortably in your favorite learning area or study room. Get your notebook and your pen beside you. And of course, don't forget to jot down important points of our lesson. If you are now ready, let's start. Our lesson in this episode is the simple past and past perfect tense of a verb. At the end of our lesson, you will be able to first Define simple past tense and past perfect tense. Second, differentiate simple past tense from past perfect tense. And third, use the past and perfect tenses correctly in varied contexts. Let's begin our lesson by answering this activity. The activity in the what's in part of your module. Here is the directions. Read the paragraph and pick out all the verbs used in each sentence. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Walter walked to the store. He searched for the sports aisle. Sue saw him there. She walked over to him. They chatted for a while. Then Walter looked at his watch. He shouted goodbye. So, what are the verbs on this paragraph? Alright, the verbs are walked, search, saw, chatted, look, shouted. As you can see, these verbs are written in a past form of a verb. As you can see, the word walked ends with ed as well as the words searched chatted chatted rather looked and shouted and for your information these are examples of regular verbs but what is a regular verb well regular verbs are verbs whose past tense are formed by simply adding d or ed to the root verb just like what i already said a while back the words walked search chatted looked and shouted are all examples of regular verbs another verb that was mentioned in the paragraph is the word saw saw is the past tense of what verb all right it's the past tense of see and this one is an example of irregular verb but what is an irregular verb Irregular verbs are verbs in which the past tense is not formed by adding the usual ed ending. Just like the word see, its past form is saw. Okay, we have here five examples of irregular verbs. The first one is see, its past form is saw. The second one is meet, its past form is met. Third one is sleep. Its past form is slept. The fourth one is eat. Its past tense is ate. And the last one is fall. And its past form is fell. This time, let's proceed to the past perfect tense of a verb. According to Grammarly, the past perfect, also called as Plop perfect is a verb tense used to talk about actions that were completed before some point in the past. Meaning, the past perfect tense indicates that an action was completed or finished or perfected at some point in the past before something else happened. This tense is formed with the past tense or past form of to have, which is had, plus the past participle of the verb, which can be regular or irregular form. We have here two examples. First, had walk. Second, second, had run. 
As you can see here, walked is a regular verb and run is an irregular verb. Take note, class, that past perfect tense of a verb has the word had. The word had, which is the past form of to have. It should be, ha uh, it should be added before the verb, which is in the past form or tense. Okay? Now, let's study this sentence. I had eaten my breakfast before I went to school. Can you identify the past perfect tense here? All right. The past perfect tense here is the words had eaten. Why? How can you say that this is in the past perfect tense? Well, it is because the tense expresses action in the past. Na tapos na raw siyang kumain before another action happened. This is the past in the past. Tapos na siyang kumain bago pa siya pumunta sa school. Let's have another example. The Titanic had received many warnings before it hit the iceberg. Here, the past perfect are the underlined words had received. This indicates that the Titanic had already received warnings before something else happened. That is, when it hit the iceberg. Well, for your information class, the past tense of the word hit is also hit. Okay, class, take note of these three things when you are writing sentences with past perfect tenses. First, we use the past perfect tense to talk about a past action that ended before another action or time in the past. We have here an example. The film had started before we arrived. In this sentence, what is the simple past tense? Okay, it's the word arrive. How about the past perfect? All right. The past perfect tense are the words had started. Okay, second thing to remember is we also use the past perfect to show the cause of a past action. Example, I was tired on Monday because I hadn't slept very well at night. What is the simple past tense in the sentence? Very good, it's the word tired. How about the past perfect? All right, the words hadn't slept. And the last thing to remember is use expressions such as when, after, before, as soon as, by the time, and until. Let's practice what you already know by doing this activity. The directions is put the verbs into the correct form. Okay, transform the first verb into past perfect and the second verb into simple past. So, let's do it. So, what is your answer in the first sentence? Okay. Alright, so the answer here is, Last night, I had slept outside because I forgot my keys. Here, the past form of the verb is sleep is had slept and the simple past form of the verb forget is forgot and so the answer should be last night i had slept outside because i forgot my keys